Mitte, thank you again for joining us here today. Definitely. So give our viewers an introduction to Lyft & Co and the conference here in Toronto. Yeah, I, I'd love to. So Lyft is a really now a leader in cannabis marketing and uh, consumer analytics in Canada. And the Lyft Expo mm -hmm. is really a meeting place for producers, consumers, stakeholders, investors, really anyone looking to get into the industry meeting in one spot. Mm -hmm. We're expecting just over 15,000 people this time around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, Matei, I have to talk to you obviously about legislation. It's one of the key <coughs> themes here at the conference, um, or at the expo, I should say. Um, we've seen a lot of um, uh, you know, pushback on, on legislation from the, f the federal level. Um, what's your take on kind of the timeline, um, what we might be able to expect in the next few months? Yeah, so on June 7th, mm -hmm. the Senate will hold their vote. That's mm -hmm. been decided. Mm -hmm. But really anything past that is a, an educated guess. Mm -hmm. uh, what my educated guess would be is soon after you will have the bill, uh, receive royal assent. But there's a difference between that and the law actually coming into force. So I would expect, if all goes to plan, you probably won't see sales until September, maybe even October. Because there's still quite a lot to work through, obviously. I mean. You know, from a legislative standpoint, of course, but also from a distribution and a, mm -hmm. and a marketing standpoint. I know those are some of the themes as well at the uh, at the expo here. Um, what should you know? What should people look for um, at, in the market this year? Sure. Um, I mean, you have to look for people that are doing more than just growing. If you're looking to invest in the cannabis space mm -hmm. on the production side, um, you know, we're kind of entering the third inning of the market, mm -hmm. and by that I mean the first inning, the value is really in having a license. Mm -hmm. Then the second inning became, okay, now you have a license, but do you have enough capacity? So it became about funded capacity. And we're nearing the tail end of that and really entering what I view as the third inning, and that is competing for market share mm -hmm. in this otherwise really restricted advertising environment and taking that market share international. Um, so you should be looking for people and businesses that are taking an innovative approach to that, uh, to that restriction. And that's really you know, the other part of our business is it's helping consumers connect with businesses mm -hmm. in ways that are otherwise prohibited by regulation. Mm -hmm. So our review platform, our loyalty program, help communicate things like product effects, help producers build brand loyalty, and gain market insight on the consumers and what they prefer that we as a business provide them back to the industry to inform mm -hmm. that market share pursuit. Mm -hmm. Well, um, bringing it back to, to Lyft & Co, I know we were talking about uh, you've got an exciting milestone coming up in the next uh, the next little while you're going public. We are. Tell our viewers um, <laughs> where you're listing and, and you know why that's important. Definitely. So this is a path we set on just over seven months ago, and we're probably another month, month and a half away from listing on the TSXV. Mm -hmm. And right now, we're in the middle of a 15 million raise uh, brokered and led by GMP Securities. Mm -hmm. And the reason we are going public is really twofold. The company has existed since 2014, started as a simple blog mm -hmm. with the mission of empowering a better informed industry. And that goes back to what I was saying about connecting stakeholders, whether it's at the expo or online through our data, and pushing the conversation forward. And we see being public as an interesting opportunity to take this platform international, so being well-funded and capitalized uh, to help alleviate the issues we do here today, those market inefficiencies uh, internationally as well. So it's all about moving really quickly mm -hmm. and keeping pace with the burgeoning industry. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you again, Matei. Thank you.